Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Bengal. Today, we are going to fight Bukhara to feed our two vassals, Yarkin and Oirat. And we're probably going to be declaring war on Spain. Because declaring war on Spain will allow us to hit the button to westernize. Spain is currently at war with France. And that's going to be a big distraction for him. Most likely, France and Spain are going to be fighting along this border. And if he's busy fighting that war, then he's going to ignore us. Now we should be able to sit back, white peace, and westernize. That's my goal. Either white peace or take Cape Colony, but most likely white peace. In the meantime, let me move my army down to Swellendam. It's about to finish. And uh, we'll just, you know, colonize a little more along here. And perhaps explore over to St. Helena. If St. Helena is not taken, I'll definitely colonize that. And then we can um, say hello to Spain with our guns. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, Coalition against Utrecht. It's happening again. Hashtag it's happening. Oh, it's not that big of a coalition. That's nothing. That's, that's adorable. It's like nobody cares. Nobody really has any coalition in Lincoln. It's just Utrecht. He's the only guy that anyone cares about. Trier has a little bit of heat. Nah, it's just Utrecht. No one else gives a crap. And Muscovy, but... No one cares about Muscovy. That's the problem, is Muscovy can get away with almost murder. Because no one cares. Alright, let's go kick some stupid rebel butthole. Stupid rebel butthole. Go die. This is nobody, but I think I'm going to give it to, um, what's his name? Yarkin. So that'll link up his lands and he can core it for me. Oh, I'll change the attack. He's now going to Nadim. Interesting. He changed his attack. I don't know what to expect anymore. This game's confusing. Oh, it changes attack is again. Now that's something that's changing in the new update. I don't know when the update's gonna be, but they're gonna make it so if an army is more than halfway to its destination, they can then they can no longer change course. I like that change. I think it makes a lot of sense. Alright, Swelling Dam is done. Let's go for Graf Renets or whatever. Oh good, our ship's back home. Let's explore. What can we explore? The waters of the Ivory Coast. Yes. Let's do that. And in the meantime, let's colonize Graf Rene. Whatever it's called. Oh, Oman wants an alliance. Really? Well, yeah, he does. If we were at peace, he would take an alliance. Interesting. Interesting and interesting. Who's this? Circassia, of course. All right, let's get relations up with the Auto Turks because I want him to help me in the war against Spain. I really want him to. Well, if his navy is good, then yes. If his navy's bad, then no. How's your navy? Ah, uh, oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. <laughs> yes, that is a good navy. So yeah, I definitely want his help against Spain because. Well, those 144 galleys are going to sink any Spanish fleet, and that way Spain will leave us the hell alone, and we should win that war easily and not have to worry. More people coalitioning Utrecht? Fun. Right, I'm not sure what's going on here. Looks like everyone's just having a party. So I'm going to let the party happen. He's attacking Sozek over there. Interesting. Oh, we've maxed relations with Scandinavia, have we? Alright, fair enough. Come on back. I mean, he's nowhere near Alliance because we... He doesn't really know that we exist. If he did, then he might want an Alliance. Alright, are we done with the Rebels? Sort of. Get the hell out. 
And let's start the long trek over here to Minipur. We declared on Minipur, and I thought I had a bunch of troops ready to go, and I really didn't. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, we're getting attacked. Nice. Oh, we're getting attacked. Nice. Very nice. It's good. This is good. 9th of December, 8th of December, I'll go down. Something like that, yeah. Six, seven, eight. And go. Nice. Persia's gonna help out too. Okay, pick him up. Let's roll. Oh no, we are under attack. Whatever shall we do? Oh right, we have tons of backup. And more tech. And better units. And all of them things. Now, this is not a core of anyone, so I guess I'll give it to Oirat. You can core it. I may not even take that province. We'll see. Truce with Molten's up. Well, I guess that means I need a fabricate on Molten, doesn't it? It sure does. But I can't because I only border his capital. Oh, fuck me. Although, Sindh has claims on him, so I could just go to war and give it all to my vassal. That works. That really does work. Please finish up that fucking siege. Alright, Malacca, get relations up, just for shits and giggles. Can I get a level 1 advisor? I sure can. Alright. Pick up another soldier Rooney, please. And I think we're ready for this war with Spain. As soon as we're done with uh, Bukhara. Because he's busy fighting France. Is he going to win that war? No, he's losing. Good. Probably from battles, too. Alright, come on over. Get our troops home. I don't think we really need our army up here anymore. Let's get the fuck out of here. We're really just taking attrition at this point. It's not necessary. Alright, come on back from Auto Turk. Kalka and Jin also have Oirat cores. Interesting. Kalka has no allies. So I should be able to do that one easily. And Jin has some allies. Okay. Yeah, now that we have a colony over here, we should be able to fabricate on Min, take some land off him, and nobody would really care. QQ versus Crimea. Fun! Alright, yeah, get out of Dodge. I don't need to be up there anymore. Get out of there. Get out of there. I got shit to do, man. I got shits to do. So many shits. And they're all to do. What up, bitches? Heard you like corn. God damn it, why does it move the that's so fucking stupid. It moves the general over, so there you go. Just move one soldier. There we go. Alright. Get out of the way. They they made it so the general automatically switches over, but they did it specifically to prevent people from teleporting generals out of hostile territory. But it's just really annoying the way they did it, because you can't really separate armies the way you want. It sort of fucks it up. It really fucks it up. Alright, 
that should be pretty much all the land I want to take. I think. Oh, Portugal just found us. Well, there you go. Do you want to westernize? Should really hire a stability cost guy first. Hire the stability cost guy, hit the westernize button, uh, raise our stability up to like plus two. Yeah, I need to save up more admin points. Well, Tibet's having a ball. Man, Portugal took a long time to get over here. Where is he? You know what? He didn't even send any ships, did he? He learned about us through Spain. That's what it is. He learned about us through Spain. Spain's like, hey, man. You, you want to know something cool? Look, there's this whole subcontinent over there in Asia. Portugal's like, what's in Asia? Spain's like, okay, Portugal. I'm just going to draw a map here for you, okay? All right, let's get a relationship with Novgorod, Novgorod Bear, and Lithoderpia. So we'll start working on some Europeans for no reason, really. All right. Are you really taking a Trish? Are you fucking kidding me? Supply limit 22. Oh my god, the supply limit over here is just garbage. It is just garbage. it up. Peace out of these wars. Move on. Wow, is Persia even doing anything? Persia, where's your army? Persia? Persia has 17 troops and no manpower. I have broken Persia. That is the completely unexpected way to break someone. Is to be their ally, declare a war, and just have them fuck it up. Wow, Persia. <laughs> Alright, we finished Manila. Core that. And, yay, base tax from a mission. Next, colonize Palu. You got it. All right. Where's my transports? Palu. All right, come on then. Yes, yes, yes. Everyone's at war with Crimea. Everyone's at war with Crimea. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I won't tell nobody. I won't tell nobody. By the way, did I did I mention that it takes 570 some odd motherfucking days to get to Palu? Why does it take that long? How the hell is it supposed to take almost two years to go from India to Indonesia? That's not that far. Why is that two years? That's insane. It's two years. Why? It doesn't make any sense. It's not that far. Alright, looks like I need to send a couple troops up here at least. Because Persia is just, I don't know. 
He's waving the white flag so hard. So hard. Alright, come on. Siege it up. Siege it up. Oh, we lost a cannon and a soldier. No, not a cannon and a soldier. No! My life is ruined. Give up now. No, you can't have access. Go away. Shut up your face. Why, yes, I did roll a zero again. And again. And again. And then a four. Three zeros and then a four. I love rolling zeros. It's the best number. <laughs> oh, coalition as you tracked. Man, everyone loves this coalition as you tracked. What have you done, you tracked? How did you piss? I mean, it's just a bunch of small little guys, but you're pissing them off, aren't you? Oh my god. Four electors are voting France the Emperor. What? That is not good. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say France as the Emperor is not good. Like, on a scale of one to oh fuck, that's like a nine and a half. That's pretty bad. I'm not happy about France being the next emperor. I mean, it hasn't happened yet. It, it hasn't happened yet. We still got Austria on the throne, but it's gonna happen. Oh, don't roll nines against me. That's not nice. Really nines against me, mom. Mm. We're failing sieges again. Yeah, just fail the 54 and the 63, and just fail everything. Fail them all. Are you serious? We rolled so poorly that we lost. I mean, I can see that we're rolling poorly, but not even that good of a general, I guess. We rolled garbage. All right, come on back from Malacca. Let's peace out of Manipur. He's done. Couldn't even crush him? God damn it. So disappointed when you don't crush somebody. That's what she said? Whatever. Anyway, Milo's been cored. That's good. And Monopur, you're dead, finally. That took a long time. You're dead. Yay! Why are there 26 soldiers up here? I don't know. Whatever, get out of there. Alright, 40 war score. How much war score do we need for this peace deal? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. Let's find out. I mean, that's a lot of land we're looking at, but he doesn't value it very much, probably because he's a, well, he's not a horde anymore, is he? I don't know. He just doesn't value it very much. So if we give, if we take land through this window, it um, doesn't cost us any diplo, but it does give us a lot of over, a lot of aggressive expansion. 
Whereas if we take lands through this window, it doesn't give us any aggressive expansion, but it costs a lot of Diplo. So that's the trade-off, right? Do you want the AE or do you want to spend Diplo points? And I think at this point, I want to keep my Diplo points. I don't really care about the AE. So give me all the AE in the world, man. Give me all the AE in the world. Yeah, see, this is a problem here. He won't peace out. Okay, don't take that one, don't take that one, don't take that one. I really, really, really want all this land though. Like, I deserve it, right? This is my land. This is my rifle. Really? All right, looks like we have to siege him up a little more, which means Persia is gonna be even more beat up. Poor Persia, man. What did he do to deserve this? He's a loyal ally. He has never once... Well, no, no, he did piss me off once when he declared war on the fucking Ottomans like a turd. Who the hell declares war on the Ottomans like a turd? You know? And then as soon as the war is over, he's like, Oh, that was a bad idea. And then he just goes and allies the Ottomans again. I mean, that's pretty derpy. On the derpometer, that's pretty fucking up there, man. Ooh, Tech 16 military. Well, since we're westernizing, I might as well just wait. Well, since we will be westernizing. That's what I meant to say. We will be westernizing. Soon. Trademark. Kappa. Kipo. Maybe I should just peace out some of these other morons. But they don't want peace. Like, the only one who wants peace is Bukura. No one else gives a fuck. Well, if you want peace, then peace out. God damn it. Man, I don't want to peace out. I like war. Alright, Diplomat, what are we going to do with you? I guess get relations up with Yarkin so I can annex him soon-ish. Soonish. Jeez, we're at 7 out of 5 relations. I mean, it's not as bad as we were earlier with 8 out of 4, but 7 out of 5 is still pretty, still pretty bad. Nepalese nationalist, you don't say. You don't say. Well... Where are these guys? Where are they going to be? I might build a Brenner from spawning. Baisi Raija, Katmandu, Shabrusi Raija, Garwal, and I'll just check it by culture. I mean, that's, that's the easiest way, right? It's these provinces. There you go. That should put a lid on it. Unless they spawn and wipe my army like they did last time. Because that would be bad. That would really be bad. Let's not... Oh, shit, they just spawned. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Alright, where's my general? I need to magically teleport my general out of here. Alright, magic teleportation, go! better general than me? That's not cool, man. You shouldn't have a better general than the player. That's just not fair. It's not very nice. Also, peace out. the shit bags the shit lords out
4th of May. Perfect. I can't even have 32 units here? Really? I mean, I, it's, it's hills. It's not mounds. It's hills. Alright. Whatever. Ow. What was that? We have lost the siege of... Dasman Kuduk. This one. Alright. Dasman Kuduk has fallen. Oh no, not Dasman Kuduk. Can I peace out yet? Nope. Alright, one more siege should do it. Bartering increases. Autonomy or gain or lose inflation. Ah, oh, but I have to lose 100 admin points. Ah. <sighs> This is really going to delay our westernization, but it does lower inflation, and it's better than getting fucking autonomy. Oh, finished our mission. Yay, Colonial Enthusiasm's back. Improve relations with Kilwa. What a shitty mission. I'm not going to do it. You can't make me. Oh, I can repay a loan. Let's do that. Also, peace. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, this isn't getting anything extra. This is just the raw cores, which I guess is fine. Yeah. Okay. That's everything that costs zero Diplo. Lovely. Yarkin, welcome back, bro. Welcome back. Let me cancel access in Afghanistan. That way I can black flag right home. Cancel. Perfect. Go home. Okay, now we can relax for a bit, and then westernize. Man, it took Portugal a long time to find us. He didn't even send a boat. His lazy ass just let Spain find us. And he's like, I guess I'll get a core on Goa. Mm, that's hard. It's so hard. Life is hard when you're Portugal. I know. Being western and having no one ever declare war on you ever for any reason at all? Yeah, that's hard, man. If you're looking for... A, oh, wow, look at Spain get wrecked. If you're looking for a nation to have, like, training wheels to learn this game, Portugal is the best one, by far. Because their only border is with Spain, who's a natural ally. Like, if I can show you here... They have what's called... Uh, historical friend. It's second to the bottom there. Historical friend plus 25, which means they're just always allies. Always, 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 always. And they're the only nation you ever have a border with. So if you want to go to war, like in Africa, or the New World, or Asia, or whatever, you can. And no one's ever going to care, because you're not going to have a coalition in Europe against you, ever. Spain won't declare war on you, you just always marriage and allies, it's just always kiss kiss, friends friends, everything. It's just so easy. So Portugal's a good one to, if you just want to explore the game and learn, it's perfect. And it's a little awkward sometimes when you're playing the game and it's like, well, why is Portugal never at war with Spain? I mean, you kind of want them to have border friction and all this sort of stuff. Never happens. Never, never. And their colonies cannot fight each other either. Your colonies cannot fight each other if their lieges are allies. So Spain and Portugal's colonies, even if they have massive borders and they hate each other's guts and they all have huge armies, they can never go to war with each other because their lieges are allies. It's really weird. I'm so tempted to go to war with Spain down here. You know what? I'm going to fabricate on him. I still think it makes sense, this fabricate on him. I want that column. I want that column. Oh, we finished our exploration. Okay. Can we go find uh, St. Helena? It's available? It's available! Oh, that is like the perfect place to go if I want to springboard to the new world. Ah, uh, let's see. Coast of Ivory. That's the one. That's the one. Coast of Ivory Coast. The coast with the most. Alright, so how much stability do we lose when we westernize? Is it three? I think it's three. 
Oh, we can't westernize when we're overextended anyway, so I can't check. But I think it's three. Yeah, you lose three stability. Gain five unrest and advisors. So you just fire your advisors. Okay. Cost 3,000 points. That's, that's expensive. That'll take some time. And yes, it does use your monarch points. So it costs 3,000 monarch points to westernize. Oh, so nice. Spain annexed Ragusa. What? Spain has annexed Ragusa. What? You ass. You ass. What have you done? What have you done, Spain? Do you have any aggress do you have any like coalition potential? Uh not really. Eleven aggressive expansion. That's it. Eleven. Ah, oh, Jesus, Spain, you're a dick. You are a dick. All right, um, yeah, come back from Novgorod. Ottomans, you're ready for war, right? Because you look ready for war. How's the Ottomans, like, military going? Oh, yeah, he's good. He's good. Do I dare? I think I do. I think I dare. If I don't dare, then who will, right? Oh, no, never mind. I thought it was available. That's Holland. <laughs> it's not available. Damn it. I really wanted that. Oh, man. All right. Next up, Coast of Nippon. Waters of Jiren. Waters of Nippon. Waters of Brazil. Coast of Malacca. Let's go for the Coast of Malacca. That'll put our ships in safety. And I think it's smart to move our transports away so that in case Spain comes over here we won't get stuck yeah move our transports home all right but that's gonna do it for this episode thanks for joining me guys I have been Shen you have been you come back next time we're probably gonna be declaring on Spain we'll let the Ottomans Navy just go ballistic the Ottomans can also invade over here in Ragusa and uh, yeah France and Spain are still going at it so as long as that's going on we're gonna be golden for this war down here anyway I'll see you guys next time have a good day